Hey there, how's it going? In my Model 3, testing out version 9 of Autopilot with blind spot detection. So we'll have Autopilot engaged in this video for the most part, but we'll test Autopilot how it interacts with blind spot detection, as well as how it improves with exit ramp in the change and curves on in the change, as well as traffic within the slower lane versus the adjacent lane. So here I have a double view. Uh, on the lower right is the dash cam, and the main video is actually interior camera showing the steering wheel and the display. And we will test out for the main part lane change and how it can detect a vehicle coming up, especially uh, cars that are coming up on a high velocity, uh, where if you try to attempt to change lane, will it do it? And if you notice on the display now, there's actually a vehicle on my blind spot. I don't see my rear view mirror, but he's actually on there on the detection of the autopilot and also the autopilot cameras. Even if you don't have autopilot, it will still show. He's also on the rear view uh, camera. So now he's slowly accelerating and he's going to merge over. So now I see him, but it is still on the display showing him moving past me and in front of me. So that's pretty awesome. And now we're going to test the lane change with autopilot with a fast approaching vehicle right there. It turns red if I turn on my signal before he enters my blind spot. And then once he passes the car and is clear of the Model 3, the Model 3 will move over. So here's a close up view of the display. Signal on. There he is. It turns red and turns back to white. Uh, the line marking that is. Then it moves over. So again, I'm going to attempt uh, to do this with a slower vehicle that is pacing me. So he's hanging out my blind spot right now, and I'm going to attempt to change lane. It, it slows out first, and then it starts accelerating. But then the lane marking becomes solid, so autopilot. Uh, disengage was me moving over myself because the lane change was cancelled. As you can see there, it continues to show red markings and then the lines become solid so the lane change cancel and I needed to merge over to that interchange so I manually took over. So next we will find a faster approaching vehicle We'll see if we can hit the the signal before he entered the blind spot and see how how it reacts. There he is. So I'm gonna show you guys a close up of the display right now. So the signal is gonna turn on before it shows him. And there he is. It turns red, so it did detect him immediately. So it's very instantaneously. This is a really impressive improvement compared to the prior firmware. And now attempting to the right, uh, this car is moving a little slower, but again, it detects that car before it enters in your blind spot. Very impressive. So now um, we're going to exit the highway and show you how autopilot with the version 9, how it reacts with exit ramp. So it's still accelerating pretty quickly here and I'm coming off the ramp and now it finally slowed down. It's slowing down pretty aggressively. Uh, there was a speed limit sign. I think it recognized that and now I'm going to have to take over because the lane split and I'm hitting the light. So we'll, we'll continue and make it back onto the on-ramp and we're going to try to engage autopilot right now and see if it... So it does work. So prior to this firmware, it didn't let you do this until you actually are towards the end of the on-ramp. I have to cancel now because of that red light. The meter's on for some reason, so autopilot still doesn't recognize um, red lights yet. So we'll continue using autopilot and we'll see how it reacts on on the interchange. So we're cruising here with uh, some traffic just to give you guys more of a 
perspective on how it shows on the display there uh, versus what we see on the dash cam. So the rendering of the vehicle is is really good now. It can detect SUV, uh, sedan, motorcycle, pedestrian very well. So big rig um, very easily. So here we're approaching an interchange. This is a 30 miles per hour interchange. And it's actually keeping up with the flow of traffic, um, about 35. And the turn is pretty confident. It feels very similar and familiar with uh, the previous firmware. So I feel pretty confident with this curve interchange and it's taking it fine. No concern, there is a little traffic behind me because people normally take this uh, a little bit faster, about 10 miles above the speed limit. So it did that really well. Really impressed with the latest firmware version 9 autopilot. The whole shebang. Really, really stoked about this firmware update and the continued improvement of Tesla through firmware update is just amazing. So up next, we'll continue to cruise on this highway. There is a game going on um, down the street there, so I know people are trying to exit. And I want to show how Autopilot reacts to a traffic or a highly traffic lane on the adjacent lane and how it actually slows down in, against my set speed limit. So we'll currently have the speed limit set at 65. And as we approach this slow lane that becomes an exit lane where people are trying to get off the highway, they're basically going about 10 miles per hour versus me going 65. And the autopilot actually detects that their slow vehicle in the adjacent lane and actually slows down about 10 to 20 miles per hour. So here comes that, um, that exit lane and you will see a lot of vehicle on the right hand side just slowing down and there the autopilot is actually slowing down uh, down all the way to 40 uh, between 40 and 55 so this this is actually important because if anyone decides to pull out uh, it's pretty dangerous to go any faster than that um, even that uh, between 40 and and 60 is still pretty fast but I believe autopilot will be able to detect if any cars is about to come out so you can see on the display there it detects every single vehicle in that slow lane that's about to exit on the left hand of your screen there lots of vehicle it's slowing down slowing down despite what speed limit I set it up to okay that's that's pretty awesome because I would normally drive slower when there is vehicle um, basically dead stop on the JCP. Up next, I'm going to try and fast pass a, a vehicle and try to lane change at the same time. So there I have my signal on, the, the Model 3 actually slows down and then it decided to accelerate to get over to that lane that I, I turned on the signal for. So now it's coming over, but let me s slow that down for you guys on the display. So here I'm fast approaching a truck and have the signal on. It won't change lane. It slows down a little bit, then it decided to accelerate and then get over. So Tesla Autopilot with Auto Lane Change Assist when engaged, it takes a more cautious approach. So it slows down first and then it decides to accelerate when they realize that vehicle is actually going slower than the Model 3. So we'll continue to cruise and just to show you guys a 180 view of how it looks like when the lane opens up on those on and off ramp as you see the, the lines actually curve out now right there so I believe all three cameras uh, behind the rear view mirror on top of your front windshield is actually on now prior to this I believe only one was on so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think about the multiple view on, on the video. I plan to incorporate the linear camera as well as the dash cam and the interior cam.
maybe additional cameras just to overlap with the video so you guys have a better view of, of these tests. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe and hit that like button. And if you're on the market for a Model 3 SRX, definitely consider using our referral code. See the description. See you guys next time.